Brothers and sisters, it's a gorgeous morning out here in the new Garden of Eden. Take a deep breath in with me. Hold and release. Brothers and sisters, we're going deep with this one. Okay. Now, you may not know this, but right now, oh, the sun feels so good. Ooh, feels so good to be alive. You may not know this, but you are living in the land of the dead. Now, how do I mean? Look around you. People are spiritually dead inside. They don't know what's going on. All they are are stuck in this repetitive cycle of job, Facebook, uh, eat, sleep, and shit. Family, if you don't know the time, I'm here to tell you the time. Believe in yourself, okay? There's a lot more to life than just that. So the way the government looks at you, the way the elites look at you is that you're, you're dead. You're basically, you're dead meat. You're walking around dead. Now, you, you, if you've ever seen a picture going like this, Okay, and you see a masses of people that look like zombies, and they're walking around like this with their phone, looking down at their phone. This is it, man. This is the zombie apocalypse. Okay. Now there's a spell on this on on a lot of individuals that you may not know about, but this spell is meant to take your soul from you. You don't have most people that are watching this. <clears throat> Unless you are, and I want to know in the comments below how you feel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, but most people watching this are probably more spiritually enlightened. Basically, what's going on is these people, they, they don't have a soul, man. What do I mean that they don't, they don't have a soul? Exactly what I said. These people, they don't have souls. Now, why don't they, they have, the question is, why don't they have souls, right? Why? Why is this? It's because you have to go through a death, okay, and rebirth in order not to be lost. You need to go through a death and a rebirth. And that's what the death and rebirth is all about. See, I've, I've been through my death and rebirth. And then you realize that really what you do in life it's almost damn near meaningless. True, true story. It's almost meaningless what you do in this lifetime, but you can make an impact on people in the future, and that's in the future. <laughs> that's what's important. Okay, your government thinks of you as a zombie. They call you zombies out <laughs> behind your back, and they think it's funny. I kind of think it's funny too, because for the most part. Again, if you're watching this, it's because you're spiritually inclined. And a lot of people are so blind to see what's going on. It's 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 really sad, man. Um, also, the z when I say the zombie apocalypse, I mean literally. This is the zombie apocalypse. Now, look at it. There's a virus, right? We have the coronavirus, for example. We have spiritually blinded people, people that will never, ever recognize what's truly going on, right? And we have people that um, are fighting limb for limb because they think they're right about something and they can't come to uh, disagree, you know, agree to disagree, this is all spiritual, this is all people being spiritually blind. Now, when you come to the point in your life where you, at the age of 24 is when I had my kundalini awakening, I became so knowledgeable in a matter of, dude, it was only in a matter of, it took five or 10 minutes to get the download I got from, from, I believe aliens, truthfully. I, I don't know, I can't tell you. But uh, <clears throat> I got a download, and all of a sudden, I thought I knew everything. <sighs> Woo, I was wrong. I had a lot more to learn. <laughs> but beyond that, right now, everybody's dead, okay? Hence, all my friends are dead. Why do you think you're probably not hanging out with the same people that you were hanging out with? Shout out to my good friend, Joseph, okay? He is one of a kind, 
Shout out to Joey. If you see this, brother, just know I appreciate you. If you don't know the time, believe in yourself, man. You got this. Um, he's not. He's he's spiritually blind for sure, but he's not a walking, talking zombie. He knows what's going on. He's not stupid. He's just very quiet about it. You see, and in return, he just does his thing. But what are you seeing right now, right? You see, you're not seeing even people really click up. What you're seeing is basically a big twin flame reunion. And why are you seeing this? Because nobody has anybody to talk to anymore. Okay? Because this is the real uh, biblical zombie apocalypse. This is biblical. Absolutely. Biblical in every single way you can think of. Why is it biblical? Because it's on a whole nother bloody level, man. A whole nother blood clot level. Why do I say this? Because people aren't even shaking hands. So I'm doing a little an experiment, a test to shake people's hands, right? I've, so far out of all the people I've reached my hand out to, I've shaken two people's hands. And let me tell you, I'm not scared to shake people's hands. I'm not scared of the virus. And I'm not scared <clears throat> to put myself out there. Not in harmful situations, but to give human touch because people need it even like if you see somebody hurt and give them a pat on the back hold their go i always go like this i i, I put i i hold their shoulder and say listen man you're gonna be okay and kind of rub their rub their um shoulder because that's why when they say i'm not even going to that it's not even really worthy of going into but recognize man this is it people are dead inside when I say dead inside, shout up Pfizer. Shout up Pfizer. Again, shout up Pfizer. <laughs> They're killing people with medication, man. This is the reason why it's zombie land. And this is, they want to prevent you from ever having this true spiritual awakening. Okay? And you're not going to get it, no. Unless you really follow somebody. Well, one like myself, shout out to... Uh, my mentor, somebody like him, and spiritual leaders that are here to help you. But you need to recognize that you're probably, if you're watching this and you are not enlightened on the truth, you're probably dead inside. And you know you're dead inside. You can feel it. <laughs> I'm here to help. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. I want your comments down below because I want to know how you feel about what's going on. About how does it feel to... Uh, feel like you're dead inside i know how it feels i've been there and i've done that i haven't written a book about it not yet <laughs> ouch but i'm going to i know how it feels to be dead man to feel dead inside but this is it man what do you see when you're walking around when you see people on their phone they got their phone they got their head down like this and they're hunched over looking at their phone no you don't do that when you hold your phone you hold your phone should be eye to eye with you Okay, when you're looking down at your phone, that means your phone's got complete control over you. Understand what I'm saying, brothers and sisters, this is serious. With that said, King Loki out. <laughs> King Loki out the house. In the house. No. King Loki here to give you the truth, my brothers and sisters. Stay well. Also, I want to bless you today. I want I want to count your blessings, man. Because if you're spiritually awake to what's going on, you're very lucky. <laughs> Believe me, you're beyond lucky, man. Beyond lucky. This shit ain't no joke, man. This is this is warfare against you, your family, and your loved ones, and anybody that you know in your life. This is this is warfare against humanity, man. That's what it is. Wow, it feels good. I can feel the seasons changing. But again, I want to give my thanks and praise to God. Ultimately. Thanks and praises to the universe. Thanks and praises to my mentor, as always. And thanks and praises to everybody that watches my channel, man. I'm not here to put you all down. I'm here to always help you. Remember that. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed by now. Take care. You have a blessed day. Recognize you're in the land of the dead right now. People are literally dying inside. Now, now again, I don't mean on a physical level. I mean on a, on a mental level. And being spiritually blind, that's what it is. They're spiritually blind. So peace be with you, also with you. Have a great morning. I'm out.